My name is Dr. Michael Greger. I'm a general practitioner specializing in clinical nutrition and run a website called nutritionfacts.org. Today I'm going to be talking about the role diet may play in preventing, treating, and even reversing the top 15 killers here in Germany. There's only one diet that's ever been proven to reverse heart disease, the number one killer of men and women in the States, and a leading killer around the Western world, and that's a plant-based diet. So anytime anyone tries to sell you on some new diet, I encourage you to ask a simple question. Wait a second, has this diet been proven to reverse heart disease, the most likely reason me and all my loved ones will die? If the answer is no, uh, why would you even consider it? I mean, if that's all a plant-based diet could do, reverse heart disease, a leading killer of men and women, shouldn't that be the default diet until proven otherwise? And the fact that can also be used to prevent, treat, and reverse other leading killers like type 2 diabetes and hypertension would seem to make the case for plant-based eating simply overwhelming. My latest book, How Not to Die, which is being published in Italian and 20 other languages, goes through, very similar to what my speech is here today, going through all the leading killer diseases, talking about the role diet may play in preventing, arresting, and reversing disease. That's the first half of the book with about 3,000 scientific citations, although sadly, actually, in the Italian version, they're going to put all the citations on the web. They'll have all the end notes, but it was just, it would be too big of a book, too expensive of a book to publish, but uh, they'll all be online for free. Um, and then the second half of the book is really putting this into practice. I didn't want it to just be a reference book, you know, just kind of detailing this mountain of evidence, but also kind of a, uh, you know, kind of a how-to practical guide on translating this evidence into day-to-day, -day, you know, grocery store and decisions. And so I talk, I center the second half around uh, my daily dozen checklist of all the things I encourage people to include into their daily routine. Nutritionfacts.org is a nonprofit, non-commercial site, not selling anything, no ads, no corporate sponsorship. I simply put it up as a public service, kind of labor of love. New videos and articles every day on the latest in evidence-based nutrition, nutritionfacts.org. We have an active community. In fact, we have dozens of volunteer moderators. These are health professionals who um, take a three-hour block of time throughout the week, so there's always someone on the website to answer any health questions or nutrition questions anyone might have. I often asked to come on, you know, general television morning shows, for example, to, I mean, that's who I'm trying to reach. It's not people who are eating healthy. They're already doing the right thing. The whole point of my work is to educate people who are unaware of the power that they have to affect their health destiny and longevity. We have tremendous power. Um, uh, the vast majority premature death and disability is preventable with a plant-based diet and other healthy lifestyle behaviors. We just have to share great, there's wonderful resources out now. We just have to share them. There are good documentaries and books and websites we can share, and so people can educate themselves um, and uh, educate themselves and their families as to the best way to feed themselves. Years ago, this wasn't possible, and we just didn't have the resources. You actually had to look at the primary literature and be able to get access to the science and kind of understand the science. But now, there's websites like nutritionfacts.org that can kind of translate that data, show the data um, to the general public, and then they can make up their own mind. Look, it's your own body, your own choice. You want to smoke cigarettes, that's your decision, but we should make these choices consciously, educating ourselves about the predictable consequences of our actions. I love Italy, looking forward to coming back to Italy. Um, uh, my uh, wife is Italian, um, uh, from Sicily, um, and uh, so I'm, I, uh, we get back often, and uh, we love the food, and uh, maybe we will one day retire there as well. I think there's tremendous progress being made all over. We're in Berlin here, it's been called kind of the vegetarian capital of Europe. Tomorrow night I'm flying to Tel Aviv, Israel. There's been a tremendous increase. I think they have the largest per capita um, plant-based population. Um, then going to the UK, which is for many decades uh, been kind of leading the world. 
um, in veg eating, in the Western world certainly, um, I think as people learn more, as this information just gets out of the world, then people just out of self-preservation will want to better uh, treat themselves and their families. As this information becomes more well-known, we can't help but grow um, this movement towards healthy eating, more sustainable eating. So I'm very optimistic for the future and for those of us who've been in this for a long time. It's really the internet, this democratization of information. We now have access anywhere in the world to the truth about healthy diets.